Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video, another travel vlog, another I'm going to New York vlog. Y'all know I'll be there all the time. But this one is gonna be fun. I have like some really good things planned. I'm really excited for a lot of this stuff, y'all. Okay, and I'm also gonna wing a lot of the trip because I have things planned, but I also just like to leave, you know, free time to just roam around and explore because like why wouldn't you so we going to new york we going to new york literally every time i go it's just something different so y'all know i love it there but um yeah so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button stay tuned follow me on instagram tiktok and like all of that good stuff because i'm going to be documenting this trip over on there too it might actually go up over there before it goes here just so you know i mean i know y'all my homegirls like y'all my ogs but it's just kind of easier to just like throw it up over there. You know what I'm saying? So while I did not necessarily vlog my prep because it be the same stuff, y'all. Like, do y'all still want to see that? I don't know. But I did put it over on TikTok because I just felt like it's repetitive. Like, okay, how many vacation preps you want to do, girl? Like, it's all the same thing. You get your nails done, your lashes, you do the hair. Like, we get it. You pack. We get it. <laughs> so just let me know if y'all still want to see that type of stuff on every literally every trip but since this trip was so short i just felt like i don't know i just didn't really want to i don't know y'all let me know but i'm not done fully prepping i still have to cook because i know i always get my hello first deliver right before a trip no matter where i'm going i will never go grocery shopping before a trip like it's just not happening i will not have food going bad in my fridge while i'm gone like that literally happened too many times like just too many times i'm done with it and then also I'm not trying to keep ordering out because one, it gets expensive. And two, I'm tired of eating the same things. Like since I'm in this new area, I don't really know all the gyms. You know, I don't know where to order the food from. Like who has the best food over here? I'm still trying to figure that out. So in the meantime, I'm gonna just cook at home. And then, you know, to treat myself, I'll go explore my new area and stuff like that. Cause y'all know I just moved. But yeah, let's get into this HelloFresh. I'm gonna put my hair up because y'all, my hair has been shedding so bad lately. I don't know what's going on. I really just wanna be like, if you know, you know. But I gotta get you to run down if you're new here. HelloFresh, y'all already know, I love HelloFresh so much because it's like a no waste zone. Like you don't waste any of the ingredients cause I'm the queen of that, we all know. Okay, and it's just easy. Like the recipes are easy, the food is good. You get to like cook at home. You even get to like learn how to cook if you don't know how to cook. Like that's the part that I like about it too. I know how to cook. But the directions are so simple and broken down perfectly to where if you don't know how to cook, I feel like it can actually teach you. Y'all know the summer coming up, so she gotta stay slim. So the food is actually pretty balanced and like healthy and all that, which I really, really love. So everything that you need comes in these bags, like literally all the ingredients that you need even they're like portioned out. So yeah, let's get started. It is kind of early. I kind of wanted to make like a late lunch, early dinner type of thing because I do want to spend the rest of the night like figuring out what I'm going to pack and all of that stuff because I literally, like I said, I've not thought about any of that. So let's get started. I'm going to be making, where's the recipe? We are making the Baja Barmandi with yellow rice and salsa fresca. It looks so fresh and just yummy. And the cook time said 25 minutes. I said, sign me up.
the level of excitement I have for this meal. <sighs> Let's just eat it. Let's just taste test. Y'all know you're gonna be putting it down, but I gotta credit HelloFresh. All right. Let's try to get a fork full of like everything. First bite. Let's try it out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Just the one. Oh my god. This makes no sense. That's the one right there. It is so good. It's so fresh too. That's what I love about it. Like the lime makes it so fresh. Oh, I need another one. That ain't gonna last long at all. <laughs> and don't worry, you know I got y'all a code. Make sure you go to HelloFresh.com and use code KaylaCake50 for 50% off, plus your first box ships free. And as always, if y'all have HelloFresh, because I know some of y'all do, let me know which meal from your box this month was your favorite, or if you tried this one, if it was good or not, or which ones I should be manifesting to get in my next box, because y'all know, I'll be excited when that green box pop up. <laughs> that means I don't gotta go grocery shopping or really think about anything because everything is literally right there in my face and all I gotta do is follow directions. Easy and lazy, here I am, it's me. All right, I'm about to finish eating this. Well, basically inhaling it. And then um, I'm gonna sit around and do a couple more things for work. As we all know, life just be life. And I ended up with the travel jitters like I always do with packing at 2 a.m., got no sleep. But hopefully you guys still enjoy the vlog. y'all we made it we made it to Nomo so <sighs> the travel day was crazy I'm gonna tell y'all about that once I get into the room the room is not ready yet though it'll be ready at like 3 p.m. I think they said so I'm about to just go to my appointment walk around probably do a little shopping or something come back here rest a little bit have dinner and then figure it out from there y'all it just started raining it just started raining. It didn't say it was gonna rain. It's gonna rain tomorrow, but it didn't say it was gonna rain today. So I'm like, what? Mm -mm. hold on, wait a minute. So I'm getting ready to change. I'm about to put on. I wanted to put on like a little white set under this because I felt like it would go better. I just didn't want to travel in it. But now that it's raining, I'm like, I don't know. Look at the entrance to this hotel. I know y'all seen it before because I come here to eat, but I've never stayed here. So I'm excited to stay here this time. We made it to the talks. I'm in another bathroom <laughs> but um yeah i came here to just take my hoodie off i ended up putting like a hoodie on under this i just came in here to change back into my cute little outfit because it's raining like i said so i had to throw like a hoodie on or something to protect my hair because you know we just did her but yeah i'm excited shout out to the tox okay for hooking your girl up we're gonna see what it's all about because i've heard so many good things about the tox in general but just lymphatic drainage massages too i'm ready ready y'all know i gotta get my reaction everything is blue <laughs> this mirror is so cute though it's literally huge and everything is blue even the walls this is cute she's like oh my god okay let me show you let me show you my crib it's small but it's very like my vibe so if you look on the website it's funny because all the other rooms are like all blue and like you know what i'm saying i'm going with it this this is the one right here we ain't got no view though it's okay okay you walk in and there's the door right when you walk in you have the sink right to your right y'all know new york city the sink don't be in the bathroom <laughs> and this cute little like arched mirror let me see what they got going on Okay, big low. What's in here? Oh, okay. We got a hair dryer, some toilet paper. Now, what's. Oh, Lord. Okay. In here, absolutely nothing. And some cups. Then, coming over here, we have the bathroom, which I'm assuming is obviously the toilet and the shower. Oh, okay. Toilet is here. Boom, boom, boom. And then you keep going. Over here in the showers in here. This is a little 
Colostrophobic. Out of the bathroom. The room is over there. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But over here, I don't know what this is. Oh, a little closet and an iron, which I totally need. So I'm happy it's in here. And after that, a full body mirror. I love that for me. And it's an arch mirror too, which is so cute. <sighs> this is the rainy day fit, unfortunately. My outfit was so cute until I figured out it was raining. So I had to put this hoodie on because it has a hood on to cover my hair. But ugh, messing up the vibes. And then here is the bed. She's so cute, y'all. I really, I love this vibe. We have the TV and like a little chair right here. And then let's look at the view. Which I know is not going to be in a spectacular view because I'm only on the fifth floor. But it's okay. I'm only going to be here for it. Ooh. Oh lord. At least it's at least the building is not super tall so it still lets in some sunlight because the lighting here is actually pretty good. But this is like I have a street view. There's a tattoo shop, which I definitely just said I wanted a tattoo, so I might want to look that up. And also a Starbucks, which hello, we love. I'm gonna film some content in here too, so I'm trying to like see where I can do that. Cause I'm kinda thinking like do a little bit dress with me with like this mirror in the background. Y'all, let's talk about the talks. It was so good. Let me tell you something. That was the best pain I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> a lot of people associate it with like, oh, you know, getting your body done or something like that. But it's actually really good for you to drain your lymph nodes, like drain all that toxic fluid and stuff out through your lymph nodes. It wasn't like, oh my God, 10 out of 10 painful, we'll never do it again. But she has to put pressure on you, you know what I'm saying? So I don't wanna say it was painful, it was just like a little bit uncomfortable. But I got through it because why? I want to be snatched, okay? <laughs> Let me show y'all what I picked up from them. So I got this, what the, oh, not wake the fuck up. <laughs> That's literally what it says, wake the fuck up. Look how juicy this mask is. Can y'all see the juice in there? Oh, I can't wait to put that on my face. I feel like it's going to be so hydrating. I got some detox tea. I've never tried this before. I'm a little scared. But she said, you know, don't be scared. Don't be scared, just try it out. So I was like, all right, bet. And then I also picked up the um, serum that she used. First of all, my skin felt amazing. Like my skin ain't never felt like that. So I was like, what did you use? Like, do y'all sell that? I need that. She used the lotion version, but they didn't have a smaller one. So she just got me the serum, which is basically the same thing, just in a serum form. Yeah, this is it right here. And then they also gift you Palo Santo, which I really wanted for my new place. And they also give you a rose quartz to take home too. I was like, I really, really love that. Like I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy my experience with them. Especially the girl that I went to, her name was Sydney. I hope her name is Sydney. I'm pretty sure her name is Sydney. She was bomb. She explained everything. She was beautiful. She was just like, getting it in okay it was a moment where she was like you know working it in working it in and she was like draining it off and then she said mm. <laughs> and i was like oh my god and i definitely left looking a little more sculpted head than i did when i walked in oh i might have a little bruise they say you might have a bruise if you know you bruise easily i do now i just need to get in the gym which we all know me and the gym broke up a while ago but we might have got to get back together because i can't be looking like this i'm a little fluffy a pleasure. The one that you like. This obviously is adjustable. Right. Guess what, guess what, guess what? I got my freaking dream bag. Okay, it's not really my dream bag, but like my current bag that I've really been wanting so bad. I haven't been able to find it nowhere because DC doesn't have a Margiela. Oh, y'all saw some clips of me trying some stuff on in the store, but you did not see me try this on. Oof. All right, y'all, let's talk about this Margiela experience. It was amazing. Zing. It's the Margiela right next to Nomo. It's on Crosby Street, okay? If you go there, you're gonna have the best service ever. Like, they were amazing. The team was amazing. All right, let's do a little unboxing. <sighs> Look how beautiful this bag is. I think it's so different. 
I haven't seen really nobody with this bag. I feel like this just on an everyday running errands, especially with traveling because this big old tote behind me, the Louis tote, it's great for work. Don't get me wrong. I love that thing. I travel with it too. But sometimes I feel like it's a bit much, you know, and I need something just a little bit more scaled down. And also I've been on my edgy girl era and I feel like this right here is just everything that I've been needing. As y'all know, the classic Margiela collection numbers. And I love that this closes because my Louis does not. And this closes, it has a magnetic closure, which I really have been missing a bag that is closed when I carry that, especially through the airport when I have like a wide open bag. Yeah, no. So I like that this one is closed. It has tons of space in there, but it also comes with a strap. The strap is the thing that got me because of, let me show you. This is a really cool buckle on it this plexi buckle. Now also inside it comes with a um, little insert and even this has like the Margiela branding on it. You can wear it, you know, show, you can shorten it, but you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can do crossbody. Yeah, I'm so in love. I love that it's different. I love that I haven't really seen this around and it just really grabbed my attention. Like when something screams at me, I'm listening. All right, I just changed. I was just chilling for a little minute. About to head to Zara to see if I can find some jeans because I really need some jeans for this outfit that I want to wear. Um, and the jeans that I have, they just, I don't know. They're just not it. I'm just putting on the coziest outfit ever. And then I want to come up here and change and put on something cute to go to dinner by myself. Because I just feel like, you know, I'm getting cute. I haven't gotten cute in forever and also I need the content so I might as well get cute and go to dinner by myself. I'm literally just going downstairs to Nomo Kitchen because I already know it's going to be good. Um, And then tomorrow I'll probably try something else somewhere else, you know. But I'm just going to keep it easy for tonight because I actually want to come back up here and work. So yeah, let's run out. It's already 6.30 so I feel like it's going to start getting dark but let's head out. Y'all, first of all, it is freezing. I look like somebody's son. Oh my gosh. like shout out to him he was given quality at a great price then i stopped by bloomingdale's and got me a full size of the gentle fluidity because y'all know i got the smaller size when i did a partnership with nordstrom but first of all i left it at home it's second of all she's almost gone i love this stuff so i decided to get myself So yeah, picked up the, what ounce is this? This is 2.4 fluid ounces, so yeah. And I think they sell a one that's like even bigger than this, but I don't need all that. And I think that's like $500, which we ain't doing it. Y'all pretty much uh, saw what I got already, but I got three pairs of jeans, three pairs of good jeans actually, which really surprised me. So look at this wash. I don't have anything in this wash. And that's been my thing. I need a certain fit which is this fit, nice and wide leg, a little bit fitted throughout the um, thigh, but 
but I need it to be wide enough so that when I sit down, my thighs are not screaming. You know what I'm saying? I really like this fit from Zara. It is called, I think this is the same fit. These are the high rise full length and I think, oh, wide leg. So the wide leg ones are the ones that fit me the best, but I will, you know, be honest and say I have to get the waist tailored, obviously, but I don't mind that because it's just very minor. I just want everything else to fit really good. And that way, when I do take it to the tailor, she only gotta do like one thing. Also got this like more, I guess you would say beige denim, which I really been looking for a pair of jeans like this. Now, this is a size eight. I could barely fit these, but they, like they get on because they're a wide leg, luckily. But also a lot of my jeans from Zara be stretching out as I wear them. So I was like, hmm, maybe I could make them work. Like maybe they're tight for a little bit. And then, you know, as I start to maneuver, they'll loosen up. And then this is the first pair of jeans that I tried on that fit really good. Just a plain pair of like light wash denim. And then I also picked up this top. Didn't try it on because I was not in the mood, but I thought this was nice and I like the material very simple like everyday summer top if you will and i got it in a large because i don't know i was scared that it might be too tight oh and might i add those jeans were only 50 dollars, which is a pretty good price because to find good jeans like i feel like sometimes you gotta spend upwards of like 150 200 just to get like a nice quality or whatever have you 50 dollars for those is good and then i don't mind spending an extra like 20 to get the waist taken in just a tiny bit <laughs> Yeah. Solo date was a success, but y'all, we got to talk. Okay, hold on, let me get to the room first. Oh, let me give y'all a fit check while we're in the full length mirror. Top is Aritzia Zara jeans that I just got, my tabby boots, and then my YSL Lulu bag. This hallway is everything. Get a picture in this hallway before I leave. Good morning, y'all. So, I left y'all hanging last night. But I got so excited because I was trying to film a TikTok too. This this is my problem. I be trying to film a TikTok and then forget that I have to film everything that I just did like three times. <laughs> for Instagram, possibly for TikTok, and then for YouTube. Y'all, this is too much. Okay, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I think this new platform called Lemon 8. Like, I'm struggling, okay? I have enough platforms I'm juggling, like, I don't know. I created one if y'all wanna follow me, but I ain't posting nothing. Because like, girl, how many platforms y'all want us to be on? Y'all, I've been using this toothpaste. I, I really like this. All right, I'm gonna do my brows just a tiny bit. I'm not gonna put on a lot of makeup because I'm about to just go out and take this picture real quick. All right, let me tell y'all what happened last night. <laughs> so I got all cute or whatever. Um, I filmed the Get Ready With Me on TikTok if y'all wanna see it. But um, yeah, I got really cute just cause I kind of felt like it, you know, I really wanted to just put that life back into myself. Anyway, so I got cute, went downstairs to Nomo Kitchen. I just sit at the bar. It was really empty in there by the way, which I was surprised at cause it gets busy. Cause their food is bomb. Like a lot of people go there. Sat at the bar and was just kind of like minding my business. This guy on the side of me was like talking about all these celebrities and stuff. I'm not gonna name drop the, the way he was name dropping, but I was like, in my mind, I was like, you was on who's yacht? Like what? <laughs> so then he just keeps going and going and then he looks at me, he's like, you're gorgeous. Um, and he asked the waiter like, get me a drink or whatever. But because I did the talks yesterday, I wasn't drinking. So I just got a mocktail so good. I got the no more regrets. 10 out of 10. So the night goes on, two people had like sitting between us or whatever. So we weren't really talking or anything. But um, you know, I said thank you for the drink and all that. Yeah. So when the night is over, he's gonna leave and he bucked the U-turn and came. It was like, I just wanna let you know again that you are just absolutely gorgeous and this, this and that. And I was just like, Oh, thank you. And then um he's asking where I'm from. I told him I'm from DC and he was like, Oh, so you must know like this person. And I was like, No, I don't. <laughs> And I was like, I'd be inside, like I don't be outside, like you know what I'm saying? And he was like, Oh well you have to know this person. And then I was like, No, actually I don't. So he pulls up his phone. He goes, I feel like I gotta tell y'all this part because it, it would only make sense. But he was like, Do you know AJ? And I was like, Who's AJ? <laughs> I was like, Who who is this? Um 
and then he's like aj aj and y'all can put two and two together okay but i'm not gonna say where aj is from just think um so then he pulls up the text thread between him and aj and i'm like this bear really know aj oh my god i still don't know aj but he just jogged my memory of where i know him from so he pulls up the text thread between him and aj and then he starts talking about how he's getting ready to um purchase he wasn't trying to like you know holla at me or nothing like that he wasn't trying to you know like press me for my number or anything he was just very sweet and just like his conversation just kind of i feel like he's just an open person his conversation just kind of like flows out and so you know i wish him the best of luck and he wished me the best of luck and we just kind of like parted ways and that was very sweet of him like it goes to show that you literally never know who you're sitting next to unless you you know open up in conversation and like you know like have a innocent conversation but yeah i just thought that was cool that i'm literally sitting next to somebody who's going to purchase a network or potentially purchase a network that i have literally been watching my whole life like i thought that was so cool so anyway but no i did not get his number or nothing like that one of my friends was like you better have guy's number i'm like i don't want that man's number he is an old white man what i'm gonna do with that what i'm gonna do with that all right anyway let's get redressed i'm about to put on the same thing i had on basically so i can go take pictures y'all i look really skinny today like that joint kind of worked oh look at this a little definition see um if i could get a late checkout or how much it would be well we could do one of our complimentary anything after that comes at a half days rate from two to four and then after 4 p.m we just accept for overnight okay 1 p.m will actually be perfect all right you're all set the court. okay thank you so much you're welcome. that was cool they do um 1 p.m late checkout complimentary Period. Because these other hotels will be like, that'll be $2,000. Like, y'all are rude. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. I have a showroom appointment at 11. So, let's see how fast I can do this. It's 8.45 right now, which I don't think it's going to take me that long, but still. I got invited to the Helene Paris store to pick out a bag. So, I was like, oh my god, I love that. And also, it's funny because I literally just bought one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna move farther down. I like the area, but I think it's just too gray. I don't know. I need something like cream color. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm filming my real portion. We finished filming one part of the reel, and then as soon as I'm done filming an outfit, I'm gonna pack it. So that's my little plan <laughs> to basically not be overwhelmed, you know with clothes everywhere new york is such my like happy place like i was outside just taking pictures didn't care what nobody was talking about i don't know like other places people be like well what are you doing oh wow are you taking pictures are you a photographer like <laughs> they be so intrigued but here they just give you a dirty look and then they just keep walking and i'll be like yes i love that <gasps> i was supposed to take pictures in my glasses wow real quick let me show y'all how i've been wrapping my hair because i'm about to get in the shower so let's do it all right so i just grab my brush Ooh, brush it through Ooh, i need to put some oil in my hair i do my olaplex oil just on my ends because since they're still they're not blunt but they're still pretty blunt you know what i'm saying like they're growing out of the bluntness <laughs> i guess you could say so I just put it on my ends because they do tend to like kind of catch the brush. And also it is like the driest part of your hair. So, and then what helps me is from that deep side part, I go across, like this is literally the middle of my head. So let me kind of show y'all. If you can see it's basically a part, it don't gotta be perfect. It don't really matter. And then from that part, I brush forward. Right at that part, I clip all the hair forward like that so that if i go like this it doesn't just fall to the back of my head since my hair is fresh it's not gonna like really stick to itself like if, when your hair is old and greasy that's when it sticks to itself and you can literally wrap your hair without any pins like and then take another clip clip it wherever you feel like you need to keep it secure at 
<laughs> I look. And then take one of these, one of these little stretchy nets and you just slip it over. Now you got some pieces hanging out. All you gotta do is take your thumb, pointer, and scoop the hair while you are twisting the cap. And it all just goes up in there. And that's how I do it. And then I put my bonnet on. All right, we just filmed the second outfit of the reel. I'm gonna do, I think like three outfits. This one was from dinner last night, just so y'all can see it in like daylight. I love this top, like this material. I'm gonna try to link down below, it's from Aritzia. But y'all, mm, this is a top right here. I did tie it in the back though, and it do kind of make me look bigger than I am. It's like a big old lump back there. I didn't need to, but I just felt like I wanted to be a little tighter. Maybe I could have got it even in like a small. Like this material for the look that I was going for, I like it to be kind of like tight. And also these jeans are just so good from Zara. All right, we're dressed. Put my hair in a pony, I'm running late a little bit. So I may have to film this when I get back, but let me try to show you my outfit real quick. So I have one of the jeans that I got from Zara that are a size eight and they were too small. Why do they fit perfectly? Like maybe because, oh, it's the, it's the, um, maybe it's the detox working, y'all. I don't know. I really do feel like when I woke up this morning, I was like slimmer. Maybe I should tuck this shirt in. Yeah, that looks so good. Just let me know. But they show no fit. It ain't safe from it. But she still gonna hold on. I cannot wait to show y'all what I got. Thank you so much, Emma and Pauline, for having me. The showroom was absolutely beautiful, like breathtaking, as y'all saw. I love like the arches and like all the colors. It's just literally my dream. Like I want my house to look like that. Emma was saying, you really chose like the perfect outfit to come dry bags on. And I was like, yes, because I was literally here right where them camo pants. No, uh-uh. This is like literally the perfect base outfit to try on stuff. You could put on any color bag and you're gonna look amazing. Like the bag is just gonna elevate the look. So I'm so glad I chose this outfit. And these jeans from Zara, so good. And baby, and these tabbies are just literally my best friend. Like, I love these boots. This bag right here caught my eye as soon as she said like, you know, let me know if you see a bag that you like on the website, whatever. This bag immediately caught my eye. So first of all, I love how it's boxed. Literally so beautiful. These bags are under a thousand. Like literally everything they have is, I'm pretty sure under, I would say like 700. This is the first bag. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to style this. You can wear this kind of like dressed up because it has like a shoulder bag strap or, and it comes with a longer strap for a crossbody so like very casual you know running around the city things like that you could wear it crossbody so like put the longer strap on or if you want to dress it up kind of have like a blazer on and like some slacks and then boom put that on your shoulder <laughs> so beautiful it has like a suede on the inside i don't know if you can see it has like a slot for your cards and stuff like this bag right here is just amazing and it can fit my phone and my camera we love that so I can bring y'all with me. All right, let's try to hurry up so I can show y'all the other bag that I got, which I totally was not expecting. I fell in love with this color as soon as I saw it. And she was like, no, you need this. So look at this, this little like pochette type of bag. It has a long strap. And I feel like for the summertime concert season, this is it. Like some denim shorts, a white tank, and then this for a pop of color and like some fun little sandals or something. Like, come on, how beautiful is this color? And I've seen a lot of this color on the runways too, so I'm super excited to have something fun in my wardrobe. You know what I'm saying? I have had enough of these like basic color bags. Like, even though I'm still building my capsule wardrobe, I guess you can say, 
I still want to have fun. And this right here is so much fun. So yeah, that's all the goodies that I got from Pauline. Oh my gosh, they had so many good things. So y'all have to go. If you're in the Soho area, definitely just stop in, see what's up, like try out a bunch of bags because the quality's there. The price is really, really great. And they're also a Parisian based brand or yeah, a Parisian based brand. So their home store is in Paris. So I can't wait to go to the Paris one. I told her, I was like, when I come to Paris, I'm gonna let you know because I wanna see the store there because I know it's absolutely beautiful. Whew, today has been a lot. <laughs> Yesterday was definitely a lot. New York is very, I feel like it makes me like get up and go. Another successful New York trip in the books. Y'all know I'll be here all the time so it's gonna be another one. <laughs> and hopefully um, I can do more stuff because y'all know I was on TikTok looking at stuff to do. All right y'all, we changed into our travel fit. Little set from Amazon. I was eating my leftovers from yesterday. Um, Y'all, this, this set is just too good. Like, this is my travel set. I lounge in this. I run around in this. Like, it's just so good. I get the top and a small because it's super stretchy, so I don't have to wear a bra with it if I don't want to. Um, and then the leggings, I get in a medium, and they just fit so good. This is how long they are. I'm 5'7". And sometimes I do hike them up just, like, a little bit. And it's, like, buttery soft. And somebody in the reviews was saying that i was about to say comments but somebody in the reviews was saying that this is a lululemon dupe which y'all know i ain't got no lulu so i don't know i'm just trusting y'all <laughs> so um yeah i guess it's a lulu dupe so go check it out i will link it down below bomb and i got this in a beige color too that i posted a really long time ago and y'all were like oh my god where's that from so this is the same one just in black and i'm about to film this unboxing of this bag because the box just will not fit in my suitcase so we just gonna film it here. Oof, this is so cute. I'm so happy I got this bag, y'all. Like this is just, look at it. It's simple, but it really hits. Like you just gotta understand, understand. This bad boy right here is a bag. All right, unfortunately, we have to leave the box behind, but that's okay because as long as I got the bag, <laughs> that's all I care about. All right, y'all, room is clean, bags are packed. Bye, New York.